Steinbeck may have wanted you to sit up and pay attention to the plight of migrant workers, but I don't think that's his most important message. Coming up, we'll talk about one meaning of the Grapes of Wrath that you can and should put to good use. Here's the message I took away from the Grapes of Wrath. Don't be selfish. I don't mean don't be selfish as in share what you have, even if it's just a little, though that certainly couldn't hurt. I mean don't be selfish in a larger sense. I mean don't be so concerned about your own needs and interests that you forget there's a whole world out there. Don't be so caught up in your own life, whether your life is going great or whether your life is getting you down, that you forget that there are 6.8 billion other people on this planet. Whether we like it or not, we are all one big family. The human family. One other thing I think Steinbeck wants you to remember about selfishness. Don't be so caught up in your own interests that you can't see people for who they really are. Remember in the last part of the story? The Californians were so worried about themselves that the only way they could see the migrants was as a threat. They couldn't get outside their own selfish interests enough to see them as people, as individuals, and everybody lost. You have the grace and generosity within you not to make the same mistake.